Hey, what's up, y'all? So welcome back to my channel. Hope y'all had a great Christmas, great New Year's, and spent time with your family, you know, all the important things in life. Um, real quick, so in this video, it's gonna be short and sweet. I wanted to actually drain and show y'all what I actually do for my truck. Draining the water fuel separator. I have this class uh, pretty much mason jar to see if there's any water now i've never gotten a water and fuel light ever on my 2019 f-250 power stroke if you're like me you'd like to at least drain just a little bit uh, every oil change and then i replace my fuel filters every other oil change all right so all these things to include stopping by high volume fuel stations um, such as pilot loves um, shell uh, maybe circle k all these things are to ensure that you protect your CP4, your injection pump uh, for fuel in your diesel motor. So like I said, guys, I've never had a water and fuel light ever come on, but this is just one precaution that I encourage every one of y'all who own a diesel to actually do, no matter if you have a Duramax, a Cummins, a Ford Power Stroke, these things all protect your investment. And we all know that the weak link in these trucks are gonna be depending on the manufacturer but for Fords it's going to be your CP4 and I know most of the new trucks if not all have CP4 injection pumps in their trucks so let's go ahead and get underneath mine and show you what I do every oil change Just... here we are and right, here's the sensor to actually tell y'all and measure if there's any water and fuel all right here's the drain valve so I'm going to try and do this with, nope, not gonna be able to do it. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and use my second hand, drain a little bit, maybe about a quarter or at least a half to see if there's any water in the water fuel separator. So I'll be right back. All right guys, so here is the fuel drained out of the water fuel separator. Put my coffee out to the side. So here's the color of water, here's the color of diesel. It should be a slight yellow tint, um, but let's see if there's really anything underneath and you would absolutely know that there is water in the diesel because it kind of looked um, abnormal. It like looked like a white, fluffy, um, separate element within the fuel and it'll be uh, heavier, I believe. So it'd be all the way in the bottom, the fuel should sit right on top. So as I could see, there is nothing in here, which is a good sign. So you never really know the fuel quality of fuel stations when I, when you actually go fill up. Uh, but what you can do is actually do this every oil change, or once a month, regulate your own little schedule of when you're actually gonna drain uh, some fuel to see if there's any water in your fuel system. That is the absolute last thing you want within your fuel system. There could be thousands and thousands of dollars incurred if water is in your system and affects the CP4. All right, so it's just one precau precautionary step that you could do, count it as maintenance for your truck every month or every oil change, however you wanna check it, um, and, and just stay away from low volume, sketchy fuel stations. If that means filling up earlier than when you usually uh, fill up, then by all means, go ahead and take that precautionary step in order to protect your truck and your investment. So last thing is the prime your system again. Uh, so go ahead and like I said in my fuel uh, filter replacement video, five to seven times, uh, you wanna make sure the fuel, the fuel system cycles that new fuel, uh, creates pressure, fills up the water fuel separator so that when you start your truck, your fuel system is not starved of fuel. So you wanna go ahead and prime the system five to seven times. You wanna listen to the fuel pump, make sure that it fills up that water fuel separator and you'll know, you'll hear it when it's actually full and your truck will tell you it's ready, ready to start, start it up and everything should be back to normal. So just a quick video of uh, encouraging y'all to, to do this step. Uh, just count it as another maintenance step. Anyone could do it, check it. Use a mason jar, just a clear glass so that you can keep track and see if there's any water in your system um, and to just take care of that before it becomes a problem for your truck. So if you have any questions, comments, go ahead and let me know down below. A lot of videos to come with this truck. If you haven't checked out my last video, go ahead, feel free to check it out. But until next time, see ya.